What up YouTube, Asian Persuasion here, back with another video for you guys. Today, I played my locals with the first available Rage of the those Abyss set. Those are mine. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are kind of, uh, I got first place playing uh, the new set, Rage of the Abyss being legal. Um, you would think I'm playing Light Swarm, but I'm not. I'm actually playing Six Samurais because the new support in that new set, Rage of the Abyss. So yeah. That was your old deck, wasn't it? Yeah, one of my favorite all-time decks, Cow Nose, from way back in the day. Grandmaster Beatdown was what it was back in the day, and I bought those back in the day. They were expensive back in the day. But that was one of my favorite OG decks. But now it's 2024. And we're you still can't, FTKing people. Yeah, you can't forget Storm. Storm. <laughs> hey, you can't forget Storm of Ragnarok. Storm of Ragnarok changed the game. We got keys on. We got a lot of stuff. But the Secret Samurais weren't that good. Besides Kazaru, there's a couple decent ones. But in general, not the this new set. Crazy though. Not the Sheen Synchro though. The Sheen Synchro is crazy. But the two new tuners we got makes this deck so good. Free extenders, crazy. But without further ado, we're just gonna show it off. Show you guys what I played at my locals going undefeated. We got the one OG Grandmaster, because I'm an old man, just like this guy. White hair and everything. You only need one because it's just a different special summon name. That's Johnny, I'm reason. older than you are. You didn't you didn't say that guy. Yeah, he's older than me. Not by much. Uh we got three. Legendary Six Samurai Keys on. This is Grandmaster, but it's level four, which is very important. Free extender. And the other relevant, un irrelevant effect is it gets 300 attack if you have two or more of the Six Samurai, so it turns into a 21 beater like him. He grows into that. But yeah, this card's the card that you're just spamming over and over and over again. So basically, this is how you deck them out if they Molt Charmy Pirelia you. Because you're just literally summoning this dude so many times, you're going to regret Pirelliing me. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the FTK version. So before I get further than that, this is... Oh, you're not getting a turn. Um, next up is the brand new level 3 tuner, Dark. Anarchist Monk of the Six Samurai. So this card is bonkers. So it's really good with the Kazaru combo with Kageki. Uh, which I'll show in a second. But when this guy's uh, sent to the graveyard, you can search a six samurai quick play spell. So there's like cunning, asceticism. Uh, there's some other ones you can search, but this is the m those are the main ones you're gonna get. But this card's crazy. Just the keys on. If you have uh, another guy besides him, you can special summon from your hand, and you can only special summon him once like that. But it doesn't mean you can only special summon this card once. You just can only special summon him by spec once. So just know that because I can start you just special summon keep doing all that so this card's crazy chain blocking and your battle shogun is the main part of the new cards so they will never be able to ash you on your battle shogun ever again and that's how they die you have to have imperm or valor to stop the the battle shogun to get gateway so that's the only real choke point of this deck is hitting those uh next up we got the tactical trainer of the six samurai which is the other new card the level two tuner uh this guy is amazing so this guy if he's sent to the graveyard you can chain block and uh, it searches a six strike card which is one of the new spells this is like a reborn quick play and it also is a book of moon if you have two or more six samurais but this card's amazing as well uh oh i also forgot this has a lingering effect that says your mo the, my secret monster with this effect will just have the effect that reduces each of your monsters uh level down by one and then this guy just does 500 attack but this guy can literally hurt any synchro strategy exceed strategy and that's just me playing my deck normally. Like, it's just a bonus effect. This one's like whatever, 500 tight. But this one, this will be a problem someday. It could be already right now, but this reducing levels could mess up a strategy very badly. But yeah, this card's very important. Very good. Level two, tuner. Next up, we got the old one Secret plus. Samurais. We got three, Kazaru. So Kazaru is a part of the two card combo with Kageki. Because this guy, when he special summon, he searches an attribute that's not on the field that you control. So when you go Kageki, which is wind, and this is earth, you can special summon, or you, you don't special summon, you, you, you search this because it's dark. So you have a level 3, a level 3 tuner to make a level 6, which is the new Shein monster, the lord. Uh, yeah, crazy. Who would have thought? And this also searches your FTK parts, which is the red and blue, Shania and uh, Muziho. So you play 3 of this to max out drawing this at all sides. Because even discarding this off of Battle Shogun, you can revive it off your... Your quick play spells, so you can still special summon it other ways. And the old school Kageki, when it's normal summon, you special summon one, so that's how it combos really good with this. This is how Kyle saw game three. I opened gateway, this, this, he knew it was over. We yeah. didn't waste any time, he knew that was over. <laughs> but yeah, so this yep. card just mm -hmm. is like the card that forces an imperm or a veiler because they know I have this two card combo. If they don't stop this, this they're just they're done because you have to force me to have keys on or the extender to keep playing. 
But if I only have these two and you don't imperm this, it just puts you in a weird spot. You're either going to do it or you're not going to do it, and you could get punished hella bad if you let me resolve this. Mm. So, you see what I mean? Because I get to yeah. get Anarchist and I keep going. Yep. But if if I can play through it, you're just screwed either way you do it. So, <laughs> um, next up, we got the, the two Muziho. This is yep. part of the FTK with the infinity counters. Uh, you only need one, but I actually just like drawing multiples sometimes because it's actually a good card going second. You can uh, special summon when you control blue, and then you tribute a monster to pop a card on the field. So, that's what it does. And then to combo with blue, you can special summon blue if you have red. And this one, when it's tributed, you add the six samurai from your grave to your hand. So the loop is two blue, one red. This yeah. tribute, pop the red. Resolution, blue, pick up red. And you just keep doing that, picking up, picking up, picking up. Cows all that. Yeah, yeah I knew when you got to that, <laughs> it's over. I, I was done. <laughs> yeah. And then we got the one Hatsume, just a really good card. Um, it's a nice little reborn. You don't need it in any of the combos because I don't play the asceticism bricks. I do play asceticism, but I don't play all the extra bricks like Yuriza and stuff. I don't I don't believe in that brick. I'm not drawing that card. But this card's good. Banish two to special summon one from your grave. Good card. And then this is an actual important one. This is the actual probably brick of your deck. Uh, you need this for Dojo. But more importantly, this is how you make your, uh, your synchro plays with Omega to make one, three, and four level to make an eight. Or this level one plus two level fours to make Trishula. So this is your tuner to help do those. And then that's it for the, all the six Samurai cards. Then we got non-engine, weird. We're playing three Ash Blossom because if you guys know this new format, we got a new problem. It's called Maxi. Uh, Most Army Full Wall Rose. Um, if I don't have the right cards in my hand, like Cross Out, I have to draw this to Ash it so I don't get, get interrupted by a bajillion cards. Speaking of the devil, we got the three Mulchami for Wallows. This is the card that's probably just gonna destroy budget players. I'm sorry, it just is. It is too expensive. It shouldn't be this way. I wish this card was low rarity so everyone could have it, but it isn't. So I that's probably why this card's a hundred dollars a piece. Part of me feels like if it was a super, it'd be a fifty dollar one. Yeah, it'd probably be an expensive super. But at least everyone's accessible to it. You just buy a bunch of boxes, you'll be alright. But the secret rare kind of like gatekeeps that, which sucks. Yeah. But this card. It's Naxi, y'all. Special summon from the main deck or, or the uh, extra, yeah, deck. extra deck. Yeah, this is where you draw cards. So, freaking broken. This card's nice. Um, you play three of that. And then we get to the cross out targets. I play three cross out. We got the one Nibiru. This one's like the less effective against me, but it could hurt depending on my hand. This is a really effective one against me because I'm a combo deck, so I need to have that. And that's for the Battle Shogun, just in case I can't chain block and stop that card. So I just play these for my other cross-out targets. Um, yeah, this was good. If you draw them, you interrupt them, so it's fine if you draw them. It's okay. Uh, the one called by because it's web one. Combo deck, weird. Hmm. Uh, don't look at this cross-outs because they're mismatched. Um, yeah, three cross-outs because I'm playing combo deck. So Ew, mismatch. If I stop my opponent from interrupting me, I'm going to win. So we got to play three cross-outs. And the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh for this deck, which is why there's infinity loops in this deck, uh, yeah, Gateway of the Six. This card should... It cannot go to two or three. I'm sorry, y'all. If we have a battle token that searches this you. card, this card's crazy. Um, this is how you ha initiate the FTKs. Bless you. <laughs> so we got three Sheehan's Dojo. Uh, very important card to hold Bushido counters. You need a card that holds Bushido counters to get the Infinity Loop. So that way you keep accumulating one extra one, and no matter what, you always have Infinity because you tell your opponent you're going to do that Infinity times. Um, we got three Sheehan's Smoke Signal because this searches the brand new cards. It's Rota. It's not once per turn. Level three or lower six hand right to your hand. Crazy. Who would have thought? The Rota to get Kazaru because that's probably all you ever need. Kageki to Kazaru. This is a one of you need it. Uh, speaking of the devil, the new cards, we got the one six strike double assault. So this card is the card you search off of the what's it called? I think it's the tactical trainer it searches this little thing. It's one of these new ones. This searches six strike. So yeah, tactical trainer searches this. Uh, that's the only search target in my deck. But it's a reborn right away and worst case scenario, or I can book a moon a two thousand or less attack as well. So pretty good. And it reborns only 2,000 attack or less, but that's almost everything, except for my synchro sheens and stuff. So it's fine. This card's good at one. You don't need any one because you're FTK. And the Grandmaster. Yeah. So I played two of this, is, and this is the Anarchist card you can search, because Anarchist searches a six samurai uh, quick play spell right here. So I, I guess along with that, I'll add the other quick play spell, the one asceticism. So I chose to play two of this because this card helps you play around 
your Battle Shogun getting uh, impermed or Valored, and I'll guarantee the gateway no matter what happens with Cunning. Because I'm going to search that and do this right after I search this, so that way I know I'm guaranteed the gateway, and then I know you're going to get FTK. So, yeah, this card is actually really good in the mirror too because it steals from either graveyard. So send a face-up 6 hammer to steal a 6 hammer from either graveyard. This card's good in the mirror too, so. If you ever see the mirror, this card's cracked. And then asceticism, obviously, because it's a free extender. Uh, the one triple attack is talent for, throw, uh, for the cross out, and it's actually good in a combo deck, weird. And the one imperm, because I don't want to get imperm if I have cross out on my Shogun. So, yeah, I have a lot of coverage for the cross out. Um, I think it's 49 card. You guys can make it 50, but it, it, it ran fine. Um, I'll probably make it 50 at one Pirelia. I only had one Pirelia before the event. So I might add another Pirelia. And he drew it. And I drew it against Kyle. Let's go. Uh, so for extra deck, we got the one old school legendary 6 Samurai Sheehan. Not the Lord. The new one's the broken one, level 6. But this is level 5 that negates spell and traps. Weird. And then if you would destroy it, you can protect it by destroying another one. So yeah, soft one turn, really good. We all know the OG Sheehan. Good against backer decks. But this is where this card has changed the deck in just a crazy amount. A level 6... Chi Shao, but a better Chi Shao, because Chi Shao was wishes it was this good. This card negates and destroys monster effects, and it searches this samurai on summon, and it protects itself. Let's go. This card, it was a card that this deck was needing. It's a level 6, so you can have level 2 tuner keys on. You can have level 3 tuner plus level 3. This is so easy to make. You make this so easily. So your, end, your, your board always has one of these, so you can turn off one of their hand traps, and if you have cross out you're probably going to win because there's not very many cards they can do to interact with you at that point. Um, but yeah, this card is the best card and you can play around Droll. It adds from Grave and or search from deck a Sheehan monster. So this card's cool because it actually searches Grey Shogun Sheehan now, which I might play in my side for back row decks or something. But right now I'm playing the FTK deck so you're not going to have a turn. So I don't intend to have a grind game. But if I do, I'll probably play Sheehan. Um, what else do I have to say besides I don't even use this guy's effect to rip your hand. That's all you need to hear. I'm using this to kill you. <laughs> Speaking of the devil, uh, if you want to see me combo for 45 minutes, I can do that. I will trish your whole hand, and then I will eventually cowboy you for game. I didn't even realize that was the dual time rolling. Oh, yeah. Man, I, you know I'm in there, guys. got like nine of them. Yeah, bro. I do. I still have a lot. <laughs> uh, we got Dugars, which is also a free extender for this deck. Uh, if you're FTK and you're never going to get to your next turn, so use this to special summon a six hammer from your grave. Keep going. Make Star Yuja win the duel. Pretty nice. Uh, win con, sorry, yeah, burn eight. Man. Effect. <laughs> so pay eight, you have to do this eight times in the red. That's eight thousand. Well, that one, this one's a flick eight. If you yeah, operate. you got to do it ten times to win the duel, which is why I never use Omega. Because I'm gonna link summon all these back, and when these two are in grave, and after I use this to throw back my Saryujas and my Cowboy, I use Omega to throw these two back. Oh God. That's the FTK. If you don't know the combo, I can make another video because I'm not going to put in this one. Um, IP Masquerina. I never made it, but if I get interrupted enough, I can make this on my end board and pass with IP interruption. So, it's not horrible. Uh, two Battle Shogun. You don't need three. Uh, people will say you need three, but you're incorrect. I play this deck a lot. You can gateway keep putting this card back when it's in your graveyard. You only need two. Two. That's all you need. No more. This card searches... Your Bushido counter cards, gateway. Weird. Yeah. And then this is how you can FTK without Dojo. If you have gateway in this, you can put the infinity counters on this end gateway. So this is how you also do the infinity counters. Uh, SP Little Knight. It's a warrior. Weird. Who would have thought? Yeah. Interruption. And the reason why the FTK exists. Three, Saryuja. Who needs Appaloosa when I can just keep drawing and kill you? Yeah. An ultra one, a secret yeah, one. Yeah, mismatching all of them, all right? These are both secrets, though, at least. But I don't have a third secret, so I'm going to get one. Don't worry. I never thought I'd be playing Saryuja so much in my life. But, yeah, this card is a card that helps you FTK because you special summon the guy from your hand. And then you get all the other free special summons because I always keep blue on the field. Kyle, see it. I have blue. I special summon red. I summon keys on. I special summon the tuner, which is how I make Omega. How I make uh, mm -hmm. Trishula and or make Cowboy plays, so that's how I do it. You're gonna get your Star User bans. It needs to be. Honestly, this is worse than Apple right now. Been. <laughs> when it first came out, I thought I was gonna get bans. Yeah, it's still off the bans at three. It's crazy. And then for side deck, um, we got the One Dweller. Honestly, I never used it, but there's a lot of Snake Eye decks, 
and stuff I don't want to go against. So I want a floodgate. And then the water support, it scares me. So I want to make sure I have something for them on my end board. Yeah. So I want to make sure I have Dweller for water decks. Oh, that's right. More more mill support. You're coming back in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then for other cross out targets, I only have one Pirelia. So honestly, I would probably play this in my main and then side one more for the cross out. Yeah. And then the shifter because I cannot be shifter. Shifter and draw the two cards that destroy my FTK. So I got to have these in my deck for cross out. But definitely you can play 50 add, the, add one of these to the main. So there you go. If you if you're getting if you're getting triggered about seeing 49 cards. <laughs> uh, the one duster cuz I can be back row with it. It's nice. Uh, those are self explanatory. Two lightning storms on an FTK deck. If I blow out your back row, I'm probably going to beat your monsters. Um, pretty good. First tile for monsters too, so it's good. We got the three dark ruler because if I board break you, I don't need to kill you that turn if I just make my board. If I dark ruler your negate board and then make my board, it's the same thing. So, pretty good. Although you can't FTK him. No, but I'll trish your whole hand. So. Oh, yeah. All right, right, yeah. So, so you get a top deck against she and every. I have infinite I, IP, I, SP. You're not going to win. Uh, it's something. <laughs> yeah, the best side card in my deck is triple tactics thrust because. Uh, they're not gonna let me go first after I FTK. They're just not even ask how he went first against me game two because he knew he mm -hmm. cannot afford to let me go first. And I decided this in no matter what, going second. And I drew it, and this won me to do it. Uh, <laughs> my luck. Yeah. So this card's amazing because it's it just tutors out Dark Ruler, Lightning Storm, Duster. Uh, it searches Triple Tactics Talent. Just all my blowout cards, you know, all the cards that I want to hit off of that. And also the other blowout cards. If I go first versus Tenpai, if they hand trap me, set D Barry. Hope for the best. Uh, might not be enough, but I might draw some non engine. And then the two evenly match because, like I said before, if you break their board and make your board, it's the same thing as FTK in them. So, yeah, this is good for those random matchups. So, yeah, that's going to round out the deck list. If you guys really want to see a combo, I really don't want to do it right now. It takes so long to do the combo, but if you want to see a combo, make sure you just smash the thumbs up button. Get yeah, my thousand like, likes. Yeah. <laughs> Thumbs up, you already know, you, you guys do that for me, I'll do the video, because it's way different from before, the last time I did a 6 Samurai FTK was in like 2021, and that involved the Soul Day. The Soul Day's been banned since then, and I'm still FTKing people. So if you want to see the combo, smash the thumbs up, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think of the Rage of the Abyss set, and we're going to be signing out with that. Peace.